Hello, welcome to Tree Yogi. Today's session is yoga for digestion. So yoga can be really great for improving circulation. It's really great for getting things moving through our digestive tract. It's also really good for activating the parasympathetic nervous system, which is our rest and digest. So let's get straight into it. Find a comfortable seat. We're going to start with Kapalbhati, which is a pranayama exercise where we activate the muscles in this area, build some fire. So find a space where you can sit for five minutes or so. If you want to sit on a block or a cushion, then go ahead. It can be quite nice to find that space in the spine and that gentle forward tilt of the pelvis. So once you've found your seat, just close the eyes for a minute and come into your body. So draw the attention from what's out there, what's going on in your life, in your mind. Just see if you can bring that into a sort of place of center inside you to this connection to your breath. Connection to your body. Ground through your seat. And take three more deep breaths here. And then gently flutter, open your eyes. So Kapalbhati is a forceful exhale and a passive inhale. And as you exhale, you draw your belly in. So like this. If you haven't done it before, don't worry. If it feels a bit awkward or strange, just practice. These things come with practice. If you've just eaten, then I wouldn't recommend doing it. You can sit and breathe in meditation and, and meet us afterwards for the next bit. Um, so if you haven't eaten, probably about an hour at least is great. Okay, so do this on an empty tummy. And grow tall through the crown of your head, ground through your seat. We're going to inhale fully together. Exhale completely. Inhale. And then... Full exhale, and then inhale all the way in and up. Draw the belly in towards the spine and up towards your sternum. Hold the breath, and then exhale fully. Relax the belly. We're going to do that two more times. So either do it with your own breath or follow along with me. Inhale together. Exhale fully. Inhale and begin. Exhale fully. Inhale, draw the belly in and up. Hold at the top of your inhale. And then exhale, completely relax your belly. Okay. One more time, we'll run through. So, inhale together. Exhale fully. Inhale. And begin. Exhale fully. Inhale, hold. Exhale, release your belly. Great. Take a couple of breaths to feel the effects of the pranayama. Good. 
Great, so our next exercise is Sufi circles, but we're going to take these Sufi circles with a contracted abdomen so we can really massage into those organs and stimulate the area. So imagine you've got a pestle and mortar and you're grinding through the pestle and mortar. So we're going to lengthen through the crown of your head and then think about your ribs contracting towards your pelvis through the front and through the back. So there's this contraction and then take a deep breath and start to circle around this central point deep breaths as you move whilst keeping and maintaining that contraction so ribs towards the pelvis in the front and the back Keep in mind that pestle and mortar metaphor. So keep circling and breathing. You might notice some sensation or movement or feeling in the tummy area. Just notice without any judgment, it means that it's working. <laughs> Great, and then come to center, pause, relax the belly for a moment, lift through the crown of your head, and then we're gonna take it the other way. So contract the belly to the ribs in the front and the back. Take an inhale, and then exhale, reverse those circles. Keep breathing long and smooth. Like these, Sufi circles will be probably smaller than other variations of Sufi circles because we're keeping that contraction here. So likely your hips and your sit bones will keep kind of grounded and level. We're moving through this abdominal area. Deep breaths. Keep that sense of grinding and contraction. Two more breaths here. And then release, relax your belly completely. Soften your shoulders. With an inhale, raise the arms up around the body and exhale, take the right hand down beside your right hip and lean over towards that side. Lift the left arm alongside your left ear and plug the left hip back into the mat. Stretch through your left side. And then rise back up through center and take the left hand down, lean towards that side, roll the right shoulder away from the ear. Nice stretch into the waist and the ribs. And then peel back up, bring the hands down through your heart center. Okay, so now we're going to lengthen the right leg out in front of you, toes pointing up towards the sky and take the left leg over the right, sole of the foot planted, knee bent, okay. So both sit bones evenly pressing into the floor. We're gonna inhale to rise the arms and then exhale, either hug your left knee or take your elbow to the opposite side of your thigh, left hand beside the body. Inhale, lift through your spine and exhale. Gaze gently over your left shoulder so we're not reaching our edge at this stage. Just a nice soft spinal twist. Think about the twist coming from your belly button. Great, unravel back through center. Bring the hands over to the right hand side, so to the opposite side. Press the hands into the floor. And then from here, we're gonna 
press into the foot and lift the hips and then sit them back down again. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, lower them down. This time we're gonna inhale the hips up and then pivot on that back foot. Bring the hands out in front and lift the leg up, the right leg high, okay? So with that leg up, take a nice deep inhale. Your left leg can be bent, that's fine. And exhale, draw the knee in towards your abdomen. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to abdomen. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale, knee to abdomen. And then we're gonna come down the way we came in. So extend that right leg, shoot it behind you and find your way back into your first position. Okay, so from here, we're going to swap sides. So left leg extends and the right foot is over, across to the other side, bent at the knee. Inhale, raise the arms up, and exhale, overtake the left arm around your right knee or elbow to the outside edge. Inhale to lift through the crown of your head, and exhale, just softly gaze over that right shoulder. With every inhale, lengthen. And with every exhale, think about the twist coming from your belly button. Great. Ravel back through centre. Take the hands to the left hand side. Plant both hands beside you. And then inhale, press into the foot. Lift the hips up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, exhale, and then this time inhale, lift, pivot the heel, bring the hands in front and raise the left leg up. Okay, so we're now in like a three-legged dog. With your next exhale, bring that left knee in towards your abdomen, squeeze it in as close as you can. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, knee to abdomen. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. And then inhale, lengthen the leg away and shoot it behind you to come back down the way you came in. Bring your hands to your heart center. And then release the legs. We're gonna to come to boat pose. So bring your feet hip distance apart, hands underneath the legs, lengthen your spine and bring both feet parallel to the ceiling. So find that balance point. And if you wanna take your hands away, then go ahead. Really activating through the core. Spread your toes. Great, and then place the feet down on the floor, hands behind you, fingertips facing towards the heels and lift your hips up, keep the chin tucked. Great, come all the way down, bring the feet to mat distance apart at an angle, 10 o'clock and two o'clock on a clock face, hands touching at heart center for malasana. If you wanna sit on a block here, then go ahead. And then bring your hands to the mat, shoot the hips up, bring the head low, heel toe the feet to hip distance apart and bend your knees, really allow your upper body to cascade down over your legs. Give the head a little nod, give it a shake, gently. If you can rest your belly against your thighs, then go ahead. And then with your next inhale, bend the knees even deeper. We're gonna sweep up to standing, bring the palms to touch, and exhale the hands through your heart center. Release your palms. 
Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge at your hips, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, plank position. Lengthen the crown of the head away from the heels. Press the hands into the floor. Zip up through your abdomen, so from your pelvis to your sternum. Hold for a breath, firing up the body. And then come down either through the knees or full chaturanga if you want to take full chaturanga. Inhale into a low cobra. Bring the hands either side of your body with the fingertips pressing down. Press them into the floor and then exhale, peel down. So feel that massage through the belly. Inhale, lift. Exhale, peel down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, rise. Check in with your lower back, any discomfort, stay low. Exhale, lower. Bring the hands under the shoulders, tuck your toes, push up through the knees or through plank into downward facing dog. Deep breath. With your next inhale, raise the right leg up and back. That three-legged dog. And then exhale, take the foot through the hands, plant the foot, rise up, high lunge. Left hip forward, right hip back, soften your shoulders. Keep the right knee over the ankle for support. And then bring the hands through your heart center, lean forwards for arrow. So think about length from the crown of the head to your heel. Keep the belly off the thigh at this stage. And then take the left elbow across the right thigh and press your hands in towards each other. Thinking again about the twist coming from your belly button. Gaze up over that right shoulder or down at your foot. Great, release the hands, bring them to the floor and then step the back foot in so that the left toes are pointing to the left corner of your mat and rise up for warrior one. Bend that front knee. Take the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers. Inhale, lengthen through the heart space. Exhale, bow down, belly to thigh. Inhale, peel back up and then lengthen your front knee. Keep a micro bend in the knees, hand to the hips. Raise the left arm up alongside your left ear and lean forwards, keep the spine nice and long. Option to take your hand either to the inside edge of your left foot, your right foot, or to the outside edge of your right foot. And if you have a block or a book, you can use that as well. So we're finding a twist. Keep the pelvis level, so left hip forward, right hip back. Whichever variation is working for you. Lovely, to come out, gaze down at your foot and bring your hands to your hip, raise the left arm up. Bring both hands to the hips, bend your front knee, rise the arms. Exhale the hands down to the floor and step into plank. Come down through knees, chest, chin or full chaturanga. Inhale into your back bend, either low cobra or high cobra. If you want to choose up dog, your choice. Exhale, push up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, raise the left leg up and back. Exhale, take the left foot through. Inhale, sweep up, high lunge. Exhale, bring the hands through your heart center. Inhale and lean forwards into your arrow. So nice strength through the legs. Think about that line of energy. And then take your right elbow across your left thigh. Press the hands together. Twist from the belly. 
Gaze up over your left shoulder. Nice, gaze down at your foot. Release the arm, sweep up high lunge. And then take your hands to the mat. Step the back foot in slightly and at a 45 degree angle. Rise up, bend your front knee, scissor the hips. So both hips facing forwards. Take the hands behind your back, interlace your fingers the other way this time. Draw the shoulder blades together. Inhale and exhale, bow down over your front knee. Inhale, rise up, lengthen that front leg. Keep a micro bend. Left hand to your hip, right hand alongside your right ear. Inhale, exhale, lengthen the spine. And then option to take your right hand to the inside edge of your left foot or the outside edge. Raise the left arm up. Or of course you can use your block. Level off the hips. This time, left hip back, right hip forwards. Remember to go in easy with your body, so not pushing into these twists if it doesn't feel like there's space. You can always ease your way in. Great. Gaze down at your hand, take your left hand to your hip and sweep up. Bend the front knee. Warrior one. And then take your hands down to the mat. Step both feet back into downward facing dog. Bend the knees as much as you want. Shoot the tailbone high. Press the hands into the floor. Externally rotate your upper arms. So like you're wrapping your upper arms down to your ribs. Great, and then bring your knees to the mat. And we'll inhale. Drop the belly button, lift the tailbone and the heart. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, lift the heart and the tailbone. Exhale, push the hands into the floor to broaden through your upper back and shoulders. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. And then come back through neutral and find your way onto your back. We're gonna finish with bridge pose. That's really nice for stimulating these muscles. We're gonna take some rolls. So hands alongside your body, feet hip distance apart. So that in close enough so you can just brush your heels with your finger. And then inhale, press the feet into the floor and lift the tailbone from the base up to the top of the spine, and then exhale, lower back down again. Really focus as we roll through these with your own breath, inhaling to lift and exhaling to lower. Focus, bring your attention to the muscles in your belly and the way they're moving and responding to this movement and to your breath. Great, one more here. Inhale, lift. Hold at the top for a couple of breaths. Press the feet into the floor. Internally rotate your upper thighs. Keep the knees hip distance apart. And then lower all the way down. Hug the knees in and roll the knees over to one side. You can have the arms out in a T position at shoulder height or bent at the elbows. And bring your knees back through center and roll them over to the other side. Deep breaths. Bring the knees back through center and extend your legs for Savasana to finish the practice. 
I invite you to stay here for as long as you have time for today. It's really, really such a good way to integrate everything that you've done during your practice and to calibrate, rejuvenate for the rest of your day. So close the eyes, let your body be heavy and your breath return to its natural state. And then when you're ready, wiggle your fingers and toes. You can stay here as long as you like. But if you're ready to come out, maybe take a stretch of your body from your fingers to your toes or hug your knees into your chest and give yourself lots of love. And then roll over to either side and gently find your way up to seated. And we'll meet with the hands together at heart center. Inhale through the crown of your head. And exhale, big sigh to release. One more time, inhale. Exhale fully. And then bow your head to your hands. Namaste. Thank you ever so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope your tummy's feeling energized and open, a bit of clarity there. So enjoy your day and I very much look forward to seeing you again.